wrong one. Wrong source. Weird. Anyways, uh, welcome to the stream. It's Monday again. I swear I don't try to make myself sound more enthusiastic about that statement when I'm streaming. <laughs> it's Mondays. Oh, that's a weird trip. Anyways. As here it's Monday, more time for more Moonlighter. I don't know if we'll beat the game tonight, but we'll get pretty close to end game. And do some more backtracking and stuff. So let's um see. I'm live without any problems. <clears throat> Everything's working fine. Gotta make sure that every time. We're coming up on the end of it, which is exciting, which means I can also start up on whatever's next. Which I still got a few I've got a few games lined up, backlog. I'm also attempting to make a more main running thing for Mondays, like sit like Minecraft Mondays or something. Yo! Are you going to load in? And my mic is working just fine this time, which is good. I shouldn't be too quiet. I did, I did adjust the audio sounds last time when it glitched, so it might be quieter than normal and just not... Because it's, I just adjusted that bar. I think I got it back to normal. Hard for me to tell because um, the it sounds different for me when I'm wearing my headphones while I'm checking playback versus you watching it on a phone or something. Anyways, let's jump into the game. Ramble on that stuff then. Now, I'm trying to remember what I was... I know last time I was, um, working on my wish list stuff. I was going for... Oh, we got that, that. I think I was going for... We had, I was going to go to the forest dungeon next to get the stuff. And yeah, it looks like everything we need is forest dungeon level next. I was doing the backtracking to get... To show off the get all armor and weapons stuff achievement. That's a good one. And we're also working on getting, um, I think, the sword's already plus three, the bow needs one more enchantment, our armor's already enchanted. And I haven't decided what is the best weapon or amulet combo, but we got a bunch of them now. I think I still like the combo I have now, but some of these might be a better combo. I do. I forget, do we have all of the, um, I think we have all the amulets at the moment, except for the ones in the tech dungeon, but we haven't beaten that one yet. And if there's any in the, um, following final dungeon, I don't remember. Also, we need to get, um, the companions from this. What are we missing from this? We're just missing guys from the tech dungeon and the mimic. Oh yeah, so it's tech dungeon mimic. I don't remember if there's what about this? I don't remember. Alright, tell where it is. Why did that return me to here? Okay, let's uh, exit to the main menu from that. I don't want, want to lose like the daytime whatever. That was weird. I didn't. I'd forgotten that it does that. Actually, I didn't even know it did that. You could return to the end of the dungeon. A full inventory or something. Weird. Anyways, next up, the Force Dungeon to get a bunch of items. As with the last time, if we get a bu if we're really short on something easy to get, then we don't feel like farming up a ton of it. I'll just buy it from the dude over there. Once we have all the items, I'll have to go to the Tech Dungeon to farm for money, so it'll be a nice combo. 
Hopefully we get lucky and encounter a few of the uh, uh, enemies. I'm trying to blank what they're called. Swarm rooms. The other rooms where we get a bunch of enemies at once. I don't believe you can get multiples of eggs since you can't sell them, so... So that should be not an issue to worry about. We got our first item, so what do we need again? We need those log things and the poison. We need 10 of the poison. 15 of the poison, no, that's gonna be annoying. And a bunch of leaves and the roots. Shouldn't be too bad to farm up most of that. I'm not gonna spend too long farming on each dungeon for this purpose. Or, uh, like a round or two of going through the dungeon should be good. Before I decide just to say screw it and buy them all the missing materials. I really should equip the poison empty poison thing. Go this, but we don't have an inventory. That would have been a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna finish clearing the first floor, then I'll go and get that before I do a full clear, reclear this dungeon. That seems like a better idea, and I actually get to show off what it does. We'll have to do a few clears, probably the first floor, to get a good deal of the items we want, anyways. I think I need the different slimes to get the tools, like to craft that top, like, full heal potion, which we'll probably want for the final dungeon. Actually, I don't know if the poison one stops the ground from hurting you, so I think I won't, I won't bother to go back for that. Because I'd rather not waste the time if it isn't worth it. Because I don't remember. In the first place, we just kind of one-hit most things anyways. I don't know what the enemies on later floors, then some of them might take two hits. Luckily, the forest dungeon's worth selling the items from more than the golem dungeon was. So it's not so bad. Let's see how, how we do on uh, Ah, yeah. Also, doesn't let spawn in. I mean, it's not like we can get more attack power. We can change our weapons out. The heavy sword set will do more damage, but, you know, slower. Just sell a handful of items to clear up my inventory. If anything, this tiny slime is the most annoying because they're the hardest to hit and dodge. That was the correct way. I, mean, I don't have to clear out the entire floors and stuff, is that if I Find the encounter what's at the, uh, we get for for the boss room reclearing. Let's go. Or there's an achievement which I can't get now because I forgot about it. You have to do the final hit with the broom on all the bosses. This is a bad idea. Feels cheap. Look that up and we get to the next floor. That was a good choice. He was about to spawn in. Well, time freeze away there. Sheep unlocked. Forward, uh, forest of Passionate. Wow, this must be the tenth time I've gone to the third floor of the forest dungeon. I've gone here a lot less than I thought in my 
Right there is. Hmm. One thing is when you've gotten wishlisted on an item, it'll tell you if that mystery item is the item wishlisted. Oh, empty room. I believe the um, enemy swarms can only be encountered on the first and third floors. I'm on the third floor now, so it doesn't matter. I could be entirely wrong about that. Ah, oh, something got sent home. I like the little angry face uh, stones that are sometimes in these rooms. Too annoying to get a hold of it, but to potentially ignore some. Just that we don't need any more of this. Get rid of you. You. What are you gonna be? Ah, oh, the roots. Or the onion looking things. Old bowl. Go left next. Didn't mean to do that. So, what should we send home? You, I guess. That's a breakable item. I don't even bother to keep those. Just sell them immediately. If they break, they're worth nothing, so I might as well get rid of them before they become a problem. how many rooms we missed there. Let's go back and check it out. I don't really know if it's worth it going. Oh, that's just well, Need more of those. Or at least I think we do. I don't actually know until I get back and actually craft everything. Stack you. More of you. Yeah. Cool. Skeleton. I need a potential weapon or a good item. It's a spear. Really great, but you know. Hmm. 
Hmm. Get rid of this. Another starter room, so be, this is probably gonna be the one with the uh, waves of enemies. Nope, I don't feel like I'm dealing with the transformation thing right now. And this stacked. We made a decent amount. Well, we don't really make that much in the Forest Dungeon comparison now. He should have liked so much more when we first unlocked it. I'm going the wrong way. It's that way. Expensive stuff. All oh, right, it's got all these stupid. I keep accidentally hitting close when I'm trying to unactivate that ability. I didn't mean to sell that, but oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, we can probably go upgrade something mm -hmm. before we go and check out what we got. We can go with the armor, or what? Probably go with the better go with the weapon first. as well. Review from the wish list. We do not have enough to do them all then. Is any more of those logs? Quite a few more. If that's all we need uh, more of, then I might just, I guess, nope, we need more. Yeah, there's gonna be more than one run.
Let's work with potion stuff. And chant stuff so we don't have enough to afford one. There. Well, I'm gonna sell this later. Don't There, but we not start to sail. Let's see which one's the poison one. I'm gonna do one more run through, might as well test it out. This is the one that uh, for well, that's quite a bit different. Right, that was a lot of help. that down here I remember which one I had equipped. I like to keep the attack power. I don't know if that's an, it'll give us enough health in return for that. Anything else? Nope. I want to keep those items there until we certain everything's fully upgraded to get rid of any extra um, you know crafting items because I wasn't very smart about that. The teleporter that will. We cannot. Oh, now we can ask that result and have it going to the end again. So. One more run through, and anything any that's have this, I'll just buy by getting a bunch of supplies. Oh, we'll have to go to the tech dungeon afterwards, anyways, because I won't have enough funds to upgrade everything. This time around, I'm going to sell everything that's not the required crafting materials. does indeed just sure protect you from the poison pits so yeah if you get it use it uh, when you're farming this dungeon I've already confirmed the anti fire one doesn't stop you getting hurt by lava though so you know that's annoying so that one won't come in handy when farming the fire one I should equip the lock ring when I'm farming, shouldn't I? Keep forgetting about it. I 
we've increased drop rates so we get those items a lot more. I have to give up the vampire ring for that, which would. You know, I have to dome ledge and you know, block more. Well, just luck ring for the fire dungeon and just get the vampire ring on because fire doesn't work too well for it. Something's better than nothing. That's what I wanted. Enemies would be annoying are those ones that launch the poison, but with the uh, poison ring, they do not mean anything. That's just duck in the wall again. I have no idea what you got sent back. Make sure I get all the items I can.
him to get an award, I, or an item to get the track down by the uh, green guy. Yep, hello, Bob. I'm not even gonna bring you back with me, I'm just gonna just immediately chuck you into the mirror room after I beat the, this floor. Nothing. I wish these rooms could at least give you a mimic or something, but I don't think they can. Yeah, they can. So, but what rank screw is that? That wasn't the one we're trying to make right now, is it? I don't think so. It is not good. I mean, it'd be a good thing if we, if we encountered it, but still. Yeah, we're not going to get him, we need I'm just going to buy it, so I'll go through to the shop off the floor. No, we did not. Neat. I probably don't need to check them all now. I probably have enough uh, inventory for them. Check whatever remains for sale. I need to delete it all immediately. Next, I'll go up to the back to the tent dungeon, tech dungeon, to get some of the items we missed. Hopefully, some of the pets and the funds to just buy the stuff and up get those upgrades. Let's see, what we get to sell you? I don't think we sold that yet, so leave that be for now because I don't like doing the math. Sent back all these. Okay, let's switch back to the. Actually, rather than going for that one, for the. Oh, oh we are going back to the tech dungeon. So let's go. Uh, wrong one. So I won't put on the luck ring yet. Stuff for sale in here since I got the extra chest, anyways. Anyways. I sure sell all the stuff. I'll have to put the stuff in your in the chest, huh?
Hey, why is this not set to anything? That would be that would explain why it's never sold. stuff they're not worth as much to the tax it's not worth opening the shop ourselves to sell it it's better just to give them all to hurry and if we do lose some in the process ah we did not fill out as much as i thought we would okay big dungeon run time Hopefully we can get one of the missing pet eggs. I'm not too optimistic about that, those tend to drop pretty low rate. It's so difficult. How do you roll over without getting hit? The bow is the best weapon in this game. Hopefully it's a, um, one of the gauntlets so that we can hopefully get the, one of the, uh, I mean this second to last, uh, amulet, amulet, I couldn't remember, or trinket, that's it. You get the resistance ones for clearing those, so if it's that, we, maybe we'll get lucky enough. That is it. Let's hope we can, uh, hope I can clear it, then I'll, then I'll make clearing this dungeon so much easier. Definitely a bit risky, but I'm still gonna try and take it on. guys are difficult to take on, but once you take them out, they, these guys are easier to take on. Um, from the employer, Rose are red, Jabba is green, he swallowed Princess Ruto, and his insides are not clean. Ah yes, that is indeed where my name came from. It was 100% a reference to, yeah, the, the Legend of Zelda games. I uh, saw Jabu Jabu, and for some reason my th thought was, Lord Jabu! Uh, welcome to uh, the stream, thy employer. Thank you for watching and for t uh, tuning in. you're here either way, whether you'd say you're watching, listening, or just turning in adding extra views. Thank you either way. 
I don't know how you'd make the chancing lion extinct, so, but good luck with that endeavor. I feel like that, given that they're always carrying eggs, it might be a bit difficult. I hear none people stream with background noise as well, so, you know, I'm known to judge. Ooh, got one of the eggs I'm missing. They did give a lot, um, what is that other one that also gives a lot of XP with the, that's pink? But yeah, those big, the big pink ones tend to be the ones that give a lot of XP in the games for some reason. I mean, they are really tanky, so I guess it makes sense. Blissey, no, not Blissey, the other one from the, was the emerald one? It's a black and white, it's got like wings for ears. It looks like Blissey. Hmm. I can't remember its name at the moment. But yeah, the, the, yeah, they tend to be the ones that are the EXP givers, it's like the metal slimes in Dragon Quest. I mean, I'm not complaining, if you're trying to farm, it's useful to have a good target. charge me. You're the last one. It might be Blizzy that, that I was thinking of. I thought he'd be thinking of it's a different name. I think it's a different one. Let's see what we get. The anti-electric amulet. That is what I wanted. Uh, send the egg home just to be safe. And with that, before I continue on, let's move this. Here. And then replace our health ring. We want to keep the vampire effect. So, but getting the anti electric? Yes, please. Bring people absorb even the biggest quantities of electric energy. That should make redoing this dungeon so much easier. But you know, just beating in general. Yep, the water doesn't even hurt us anymore. These guys still hurt us. That is not surprising, but I wanted to test it anyways. going the wrong way. Have you gotten the new Pokemon game that came out recently just yet? I've got a lot of games in backlog, so I can't really warrant buying another one at the moment just to chuck in that backlog. But I love looking at some of the glitches. Also the fact that um, Dunsparce finally got an evolution. I mean, it's one of the dumbest evolutions. They're kind of fitting.
Oh yeah, that is a valuable plane. It seems to be really hard to spawn when you're playing. Farm is waiting to get it myself, but also because of all the bugs. But I love seeing the people getting stuck in places or just flowing around. But I forget which one of it's Scarlet or Violet, whichever one's the one with the red one. I think it's Scarlet. Uh, with the wheels that you'd think you'd think the wheels run, but no, the legs move and the wheels don't spin. I know sure it's a shade of red. It's like, anyways, yeah. It's, why? Why? It's, it is one of the dumbest animations. Full speed ahead. Runs just kind of halt with the wheels in the way. That is not a good choice. Oh, fair. I've, I've seen the goopy uh, designs for the movement that. I don't think about that rather than the combat design, but yeah. My inventory's full, but I got a few good items. Hmm. I will not argue with that, which makes it more difficult to choose between the two of them. Besides, just which Pokemon do you want for the for this one's uh, variant? I forget what the difference are for those ones. I know it's each one's like sometimes you get uh oh I didn't know Primate has an evolution. That one I haven't seen. I need to check what all the evolutions they added were. That's the one. That's something I need to look up. I've only been seeing some of the stuff people have been pointing out. I haven't, like I said, I haven't watched it. Oh yeah, the two armor dudes. When, when I saw the trailers for the game, I was like, this is amazing, but also those look straight up like Mega Man. I mean, I'm not complaining about the design. Those were awesome designs, but still, Mega Man. Oh, you made a decent profit. Uh, is it homey or horny? My... Oh, oh yeah, makes... Sorry, my, uh, the screen I use for chat is a bit small, so sometimes uh, smaller letters get blended together. It's hard for me to look at that, see them. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. Sometimes they've got great designs in Pokemon, and sometimes they're you just gotta wonder, what are they thinking? I mean, as long as much as I love the whole um, the magic keys type design for fairies and all the objects they use as concepts, it is kind of lazy. He called the Red Legendary Rooster Knives at the time. Yeah, fitting. I haven't seen the shiny of it. I gotta look that up later. I haven't. Se I don't always think to look up the shiny palettes of some of the more interesting looking Pokemon. I need to do that. Oh, it's dark purple and black. That, that tends to be a good color palette for a lot of things. Is 
Some go some of the older shiny swamps they did where they just made everything green was weird. Like, yeah, it's different, but not different enough. Um, oh, 5,000 probably then. Probably should keep the tree of wood as used for an item of crap, but oh well. Uh, the armor guys have the best and worst shiny ever. They do. Uh, they just swap the eye colors with the other? That, that sounds stupid. I get the draw coming up with a bunch of new ones is difficult, but sometimes it'd be lazy. I mean, maybe that they originally designed them to have the each other's eye colors, and that's why they look better swamped back. Who knows? I mean, even if it looks cool, it still sounds mm, kind of just why. Yeah, shopping the entire color would have made sense. If you're gonna swap part of it, why not swap all of it? Have a full change effect. They might look cool like that. I'm willing to bet someone's probably drawn that after the after seeing the symbol eye color swap though. Right, they've drawn it. Well, no, it's a good question though. I think they're gonna start stepping into the territory if they try to keep creating more Pokemon of the design of Digimon. I don't get me wrong, I love Digimon. They're so different. Two ghost uh, fire types now. Oh, you, you like ghost fire type combos? Oh, those tend to be some of the good ones. I really like when they added the uh, Alolan variant of Cubone. That one was fun. That one won 100% on my team when, for, on my first playthrough. I don't agree with it. No arguments here. They tend to have the coolest color. I should go enchant my bow. First, I wish they'd wish uh, at a uh, evolution for Mawile. That's de that's my favorite Pokemon. Hmm? Don't know why it is. But I've been there since the beginnings. So you could think I pick one of the ones that have been there since I was a kid, but.
There we go, totally enchanted, here wise. Still need more of those long things. And need seven more. Eleven more. I'm just gonna buy them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna buy I'm just gonna make this now. It goes on my funds, but still. Make that finishes off the bow path. Unless I get the DLC, but from what I hear, it doesn't actually make, add that much to the game. I don't think I'm gonna do that anytime soon. What am I missing with the eggs? Because I got the generator one. I need the Mimic and that Recharger, calling the slime. The gave by Sharp and Evolution? I haven't seen it yet, I need to look that up too. I keep hearing about Evolution's Pokemon that didn't have them, I really should have looked them up, even though, like, I'm curious, but I just haven't thought about checking. I do plan to get the game eventually. Moves like he's on a moped. That sounds stupid. I mean, no judgment to the person who designed him. I know coming up with character designs is difficult, but still, they've made some odd choices. That's a rebirth for black and white Pokemon. Squish, you said Galvantula. Galvantula is a bit underused, isn't it? Yeah, when you're saying, yeah, a lot of black and white generations Pokemon there are evolutions that I didn't know about. They also seem to be taking a lot of design choices from that. I forget what season it was on Yu Gi Oh! where they decided to. Um, oh, his design's great, but his animation sucks. That, sometimes that's some of the difficult choices. Sometimes things look great in concept and are terrible in execution. It's like, reminding me of that season of Yu-Gi-Oh! I didn't really watch it, but the one where they were all on bikes. I didn't really watch Yu-Gi-Oh! because it was kind of past my time beyond the second, was it third season when I went to school. That was kind of when I phased out of watching the show. down here. Oh, we got a book. Which means if I get this, I'm more than going to summon the green dude. Oh, what do you know? Where to? Oh, I've only got one path to go. I don't think you can destroy that orb. I think that straight just spawned by a different enemy. Thank you. 
Being the vampire amulet has definitely made my play this game a lot more, a lot less focused on dodging. Oh, I'm not gonna do the full gauntlet because I want to actually get further into the dungeon this time. Last time was more of I wanted the um I wanted the anti spark ring. I got it. Nope. A little too fast. It could be worse, they could have uh, put him on a unicycle instead of a moped, that would have been, um... I wouldn't be surprised if they gave it Mr. Mime Evolution, that. And again, with Mr. Mime, that'd be fitting. So much more doable with a stronger bow. I hope so, given that I can now fully upgraded. Oh, I like to keep the breakable items. If I can't take them, might as well sell them. They're worth quite a bit. Oh, there's the path going up. I got the moment more so getting to the third floor, so I'm just gonna... I 
think I dodged a lot more than I did. Lord is. Now to find the heal room. We got back and healed. I was stupid to forget. Trap rooms are so annoying, especially when I don't really when I have a full inventory. I just want to get to the heal room and exit so I can, you know. Have the return room I need for the boss. There's always so many on the third floor. Exiting Lab 105, the door became covered in this green slime. Examination proved it to be a perfect housing for dimensional energy. Oh, I haven't found the journal room on this floor yet. I have to find that. For the sake of showing everything off. Now, of course. Oh, it's got a red chest at least, so you know. Ooh, and that's enemy. Which may or may not drop the egg I need. Still no egg. I wasn't expecting to get it quickly, but still. profit so who cares I guess I've already got that guy's egg so I don't have to worry about it 
I still need the slime bed too, so playing more of those is useful. that journal room. Found ya. Heroes and merchants. One cool. One not as cool. There really are two sides of the same coin. But I guess it's impossible to see both sides of a coin at once. Unless you have a mirror. Or two coins. Perhaps they will see they are not so different someday. On that day... I hope these dungeons relinquish their secrets. Oh, the secret room. What is in here? Nothing. Oh, I already found the reward room and the... Um... This... Gauntlet room, so... That's not surprising. Why am I healing? I'm about to return. I need more potions. It'd be better to invest, it might be better to invest the full heal potions, even if I won't need them as badly as I will when I go on to the um, final boss, but still. I found your price yet. Let's try upping a bit more. Oh, we have massively overpriced you. Oh, still haven't found your right price yet. I haven't even sold this yet to anyone besides the rich clients. Probably close to 40,000 due to it being mad. Oh, I already found it at that. Never mind. Hello there, Mr. Banker. Am I finally in shop you do? One day. This is the... Oh, we, we need more of the fire gel. I have Nixon none of that. How much health do we have, actually? Seven... Mm. So the full heal won't matter until I get a little bit... Uh, the next ring, or stop using the one I'm presently wearing, but still. There we go. There's no reason.
reason to return to the Force Dungeon. Mm -hmm. We won't have enough to afford. Yeah, we can't afford the next upgrades. These do, but we have the materials for them now. Oh, we still need two more of the. Um, so I'm just gonna go buy that. Oh wait, we don't have. I already sold that. Whoops. Well, I have to craft that then. Um, I'm just gonna buy all the materials. Want screw. So, two more acid and four of the golden chisels and ten of the... I'm not going back to the golden dungeon. We have no reason to go back there. Huh. And this is the reason why this guy's service is useful. Or for quests, because we gotta get two items of quests. get it first try, but let's go give the dungeon boss a uh, shot. I don't think I've, I have not shot off the tech dungeon boss yet. Oh, there's a room before it. Hopefully it's not a trap room, because I don't want to have to potentially waste a hit. Sweet. It is, it is. It is. Oh, and it's doing that thing where if I return from a room, it's... And I wasted a hit. Hold on a second. I don't know why it does this sometimes. More than happy to take advantage of walls and wall piercing damage with a bow. Hey, let's go see what this boss looks like. It's a giant coal. I just ran straight into that. Yeah, the anti-spark ring is definitely useful in this case.
It's almost cheap to be going on with a bow like that. And just dodging, just keeping a distance and not having to worry too much. Fourth key. We will not be beating the fourth dungeon, I mean the fifth dungeon today. That might show it off. Let's see what guys would reward. And a bunch of items. Achievement unlocked, scribe. I'm not sure what that one's for. I think it's for getting all these. Also, we get the, um,. Flux Energy Amulet. What does that one do? Bring the boost to health by canceling the double damage of a secondary attack. I don't know if I can use that. Let's see how much of a health the boost is by. Not really... Return for the um, defense. I don't know. Let's stick to the... I might use it, who knows, we'll see. Let's see what the old man says about us founding the fourth key. and his phone and the fifth door is now open. Old Pete was right. May you rest in peace now. You've accomplished more than anyone ever could have done. If I asked you to leave it be, to not go into the fifth door, would you listen? Eh, no. No one knows what lies behind that door. I see it though. That spark behind your eyes. Curiosity. You won't stop. Your grandfather wouldn't expect you to either. Good luck, Will. Just be safe. And I feel like after you've unlocked the said gate, there's really no good reason not to go through it. Spark dungeon right now to farm for stuff. I can put this pen back away. Question is, what one should I go with? This one is defense power. Or with this one's fire damage, nausea, attack power, uh, poison, confusion, golem king, which is makes you slower. Phoenix one, which breaks, but. Um, revives you if you die, not gonna one, you know. Um, uh, adds a, uh, barrier ring, adds a sh adds shield to the wearer's health. Um, uh, it increases fall damage at 20% of max health. So one extra shield for each floor, not really worth it. I can't, I can't really see any of these being better than the, like, the stat bonking ones. I 
I'll just go with trying this one on for a bit. Now let's go see what's behind that fifth door. Hold on a second. Alright, saving is just automatic. I was like, should I save first? Probably gotta talk to the old man who's at his campfire. He should have the last things unlocked to say. Red and tell. We'll have to wait until after we go in the dungeon. Who knows? Nope, yep. Yeah. Uh, your parents. Your father would go into the dungeons to gather artifacts, while your mother would operate the shop. He would be the first to tell you he wasn't the best fighter. One evening, he's pushing himself too far. Going to put a little extra food on the table, his luck ran out. Leaving you and your mother to this world. So sorry, Will. He was a good man, good father. Man, that was a little over a year ago now. It was an illness that took her. She was pushing herself too hard. Your father's death, she had to dungeon dive, as well as run the shop and revive for you. She never fully recovered from your father's death, and eventually her heart gave from the strain of everything. She passed quietly with you and the townspeople at her bedside. She loved you, boy. Possibly too much. Please don't waste her love. Will, you must be pace yourself. I mean, you only unlock to tell us that after we've unlocked the fifth door. So that's a bit late to say, hey, pace yourself. You've already defeated the four other. And let's see what we get in the fifth dungeon. Unknown dungeon, for one. I have not played to the fifth dungeon, so I actually don't know what happened. Uh, hello there. I probably should have stocked up on potions or something first. I assume this is like a different pathway. Ooh, there's things. There's floor. Start at the bottom left. It's been over two months since we shut ourselves away in here. Resources are running low. Where is the minion that set to set us free? Meanwhile, we started to develop on prototype ammo. That stupid mi mine error. We have been forced to enact Operation Lock the Door. The minions to shut, our, the, shut ourselves in using four keys. We'll then hide those until the watchers stop looking for us in this sector. We predict a month should be an adequate amount of time to lose them. Reports indicate the watcher on our trail. We may have to seal ourselves away to master signal. I'm bringing these in the wrong order. Should have been top left. In. Body prototype development from another dimensional tech is proving successful. Each fairy seems to have a lower percentage of body rejection. The next set of dimensions are looking to be very promising. With enough synthetic and natural resources from them, we can start prototype G. Escape from this tomb seems to be fitting way as a possibility. Three months ago now, our soldiers had to put an end to some riots last week. We need to find a way to escape. This is getting out of hand. Several corpses with Matt were instantly killed by the soldiers. Few problems solved with one solution the riots and lack of food. Ignoring the problems brewing, we really finished Prototype L's chamber. The boss really wants to try the new body, but we are unsure if it's safe yet. Prototype L is finally. Fi error. Clearly, the dimensions are crossing over. Something went wrong. There's only one way to escape. Supercharged dimensional engine, crash into another dimension. Or crash the void, anything looks better than starving to death. Error. I explained where the dungeons came from. Overlapping dimensions, which is a bad idea. Unknown Dungeon 4 2.
Looks like someone finally came to help us. These are no ancient ruins, boy. We are pirates. Me, my now dead men, you. So many centuries trapped here. Let's make up for lost time. Rebuild my crew, pillage countless more systems. For your assistance, I thank you and allow you to leave, boy. I said leave! Last dimensional pirate. Double damage to the secondary attack means the charge and the bow attack. As I use the sword and shield, that's the secondary damage is matter for that. As for the bow, I only use the charge attack for um, going through the walls and stuff, so. Not that big a deal to lose it for more health. I thought I would. Gotcha. Oh no, don't run. I can't attack you. It won't let me move. Phase two time. I mean, I knew it was too easy, but still. I say I'm for, for doing kind of damage for distance. I do need more health. But I went uh, pretty well for first attempt. <sighs> Is 
Let's go get some money for some, well, better potions. Also, I want that egg to hatch. Cheap, but whatever. I found your price, I have not. Just straight up try thirty thousand for you. Let's see, this is history three, history two, history one. Thief icon? I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. This one just serves to be forty thousand. Gotcha. A bird. I almost didn't make that in time. Well, that pretty bad, didn't you, Thief? Seven times your price, but whatever. Because rich people keep buying it, or indecisive people. Oh, 30,000 is too cheap. Still too cheap. Hey now. Now we're definitely making plenty of funds to buy those potions and to upgrade a few of those items that there's like so many thieves. I said yes, whoops. No. Oh, you're supposed to talk to the banker. Whoops, I keep forgetting to show that off. I mean, it just, it just gives you basically chances to gamble on whether or not he'll give you more money. 
I said yes again. I would say no. Four million in that, so it's saving me a good profit. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I need to make that, which requires me to make this first. Is that I, I actually sold it? I have to buy a bunch of these from me, that, that dude. I also need to buy materials for the... I don't need any... We do not need any more enchantments for our equipment. Let's get some full heals for that now then. This, so we need to buy one, some more of the fire gel. Just one more fire gel because I didn't stock up on enough, so we have to sleep anyways in order to exit that. Phoenix Ring would help us much in the final boss fight. Because if we die, we will we'll be that means we're out of health potions and stuff. Six bars, four of those, and four of those. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to buy those. Whoops. Hey, why is it selling me more then? Too much what I need without them, because clearly I need something else as well. Is it for the upgrade? Oh, it's for this. I didn't need to buy four of them. Whoops. Hmm. It's me, I need just one fire gel. Oh, you do not sell the gel, do you? I have to strip, go in there and grab just one. No, that's an argument. Shop the sword path one first. Never mind, we cannot because we don't have the materials saved because I didn't save them. Hmm. Should have done this before. Although, if I beat the final boss, and I don't know if I'll make you watch me gather those materials, I might just do that in my off time. That was, this is entirely from an achievement of getting all the equipment. You don't really get anything visual to see for it. 
don't know if there's any reason to show it off too much. And I gotta go step into the fire dungeon to get just one more fire jelly for the sake of playing that boss. It's good to double check I didn't skip the banker day. Yeah, I skipped it. I might just... Ooh, there we go. Farm that stuff. It, it, I just need to add more games onto my... Um, stuff I need to do off-screen and then just show a video of it later, don't I? I don't plan well. Just need some fire jellies. It's the first floor. I'm gonna give the uh, final boss one more try for the hell night. Let's get more than one just so that I can get like six of this. I'll just clear the floor so there's mana. I'll need for crafting those upgrades on my off screen time, I guess. I've got a few games on the tab. I'm looking forward to starting a few a different one uh, next Monday from the looks of it. I'll beat the final boss. not a crafting material. <laughs> Fully equipped after I get that last potion, so I'll just go and get it. And there we go. The only way to change our equipment uh, to anything better would be potentially to switch to a different weapon. I think this is the great combo. The shield from the sword and the bow's range attacks. I don't think there's a better combo in my opinion, but I... That's just for, for how I play. Different animals maybe, but I like the ones I use. I already know what's said, so we can just go straight to the fight.
Preferably the different pets don't get more powerful just to get them from later dungeons. It is, it's more of a aesthetic thing and collection thing than anything else. but didn't switch over because I had attacked before I registered it. I need done the uh, rocket thing again. Never mind. during this cutscene. Phase two. Probably not the best choice, but I do it anyways. I was just smashing the button, hoping to win at the last second there. That went, uh, well. Achievement Hero or Merchant and Careful Merchant. 
Listen here now. You can't just shut down the dungeons and forbid entry. Is who do you think you are? Old man look. These dungeons are structures built from pieces of other dimensions. The sole purpose of allowing easy and streamlined looting. Your lady, did you really think all these artifacts just grow on trees? You, sir, will dress myself with proper respect. You are the outsider here. If all you say is true, why appear now? The dungeons have been here for a lifetime. Sir, this is a very complicated matter. Please excuse myself and my manners are not of top priority. We've been looking for them for well over one of your lifetimes. We lost track of them over the geyser dimension, and we've been unable to track them ever since. Some beacon of theirs must have been activated, recently activated, allowing us to locate this world. You keep saying them. Who are these them? Dimensional pirates. Dimensional pirates? Dimensional pirates. The race of creatures made completely of dimensional fluid. Because of this, they developed interdimensional traveling tech very quickly. Instead of sharing their knowledge, they took to stealing from other dimensions. Of course, they should be hiding just beyond that door. <sighs> Who is that boy? He isn't a pirate, is he? Oh, yes. Will. What a sorry looking kid. Are you alright, Will? You said what? You wage battle against a jellyfish robot? That must have been their boss. Never like that guy. You say there are no more creatures inside. They all killed each other because... Because they were trapped in there? Oh, this is rich, honestly. Almost too good to be true. Please wait here a moment as I discuss the current situation with my crew. You there, Lieutenant. Disperse this crowd, we need space. Aye, Captain. Except for the old man and the youngling that just fell out of that door. Now these people, thieves, all of them. All right, people, nothing to see here. You heard the Captain. You don't have to go home, but... Well, you should probably go home. Might be the last time you see it. Okay, move, please. On discussion, I have come to the conclusion. For taking part in the theft of other dimensional artifacts, everyone on this planet will be arrested. At least, technically, we should do that. But, this young boy served his part in helping us locate these pirates, he went so far as to defeat the pirate boss. For now, let's just say the thieving won't be included in my report. And as far as I can see, we do not need to invest, invest in further investigation. We'll be shutting down these dungeons, though. To continue using them would be a no legal action at this point. We shall not leave you high and dry, though. Due to your contact with our dimensional cultures, we can't just leave you be. Let's see, I would like to just wipe all your memories. But oh man, did that become taboo for a reason. That planet never really recovered. Anyway, back to the nap. We'll be inviting you to take part in the ICT, the Dimensional Commerce Treaty, to allow you to legally trade and act in commerce with other dimensions. Preparation include you and your plan will take some time. For now, please inform your people and prepare them for the coming days. All right, I'd call this a win. Let's pack it up. We'll return with the treaty soon, guys. It's been real. It's been a pleasure. I won't go as far as to say a real pleasure, but you guys get it. Oh, don't tell anyone you use the dungeons, or we will come arrest everyone. Okay, peace. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I, I'm still a little confused as to what just has, has just appeared. But I have to say, it would appear you have done this town and our world a great service, Will. Next time, though, can you just listen to me and stay home? It's just too much excitement for my own bones. Let's return to town and spread the good news. Oh, that's the end of the game. Oh, that was an abrupt change in music. Let's let the credits play out before I call it night. I guess this became the uh, last stream of Moonlighter, as I beat the game. That's good to add another game onto the list of games I've uh, played, finished playing through. Although it's another one on the list of... Actually, I don't have to... Sh There's actually nothing else me to show off, like... The extra stuff I would do would be for achievements. It's not really, um, job. There is DLC, but I have not, there, it doesn't have good reviews. So I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Maybe if it goes on sale, I'll, I'll consider it. But for now, I'm just consider this as done and the DLC is separate. DLC adds, add two extra ranks of weapon 
and I think one more dungeon, but I, I could be wrong about that. Double check. Let's see, doing it's called between between dimensions. And what does it add? Uh, add new dungeon. Craft dungeon. Ten original enemies and five mini bosses. Full set of weapons with only one new weapon. Instead of armor, trick weapons, ten unique, unique weapons, both powerful and punishing. Special weapons that got a cap at a price. New um, rings, a new shop upgrade. Additional story plus lore, but um, like I said, I don't know if it's, it's got some pretty bad reviews. So I will consider in the future, but for now I'm not going to get it or show it off. I mean, it's only seven bucks, so it's not that bad for a DLC price, but it's still a bit much. But if, with so much review as being buggy, I do recommend if you really enjoy this game, probably get it, considering getting it, or get, um, just wish listing the whole whole thing, and waiting for it all to come on sale. But now I'm going to move on to one of the other games in my backlog. I've got a few I'm going to decide between for Monday. Probably, probably know what it is. I probably know what I'm gonna pick. And I will not say if it's spoilers, but I might tell, I might say on Wednesday. Even though it's not gonna be till next Monday, so that'd be a bit early. I might tweet out this weekend, who knows. Go on my Twitter to see some of my occasional updates. More of my stupid tweets than anything. There are a lot of people who worked on this. I'll be fair, I think these are some of the backers. I mean, these are the backers. I looked away, so I didn't see the part where it mentioned if it was if it went on to the Kickstarter backers. I mean, I'm gonna get up in a moment. Don't try to come and come bugging me now. Oh, I can speed up. I'm gonna do this. So if you, if there's any names important to you, pause it and check. You're, yeah. There's no way I'm going through all of this. I appreciate people who make games and people kickstart them or back them or whatever. But seriously, that is a lot of names. Congratulations, new game mode pl uh, plus yeah, mo new game plus mode is now available on the menu. Menu. I don't actually know what that does. Let's just go. It's already saved. Oh. Let's just make sure it saves. Then, and Remy, seriously, you have left me alone for once the entire time, and now you can bug me. What do you have to say? Just saving real quick, although I don't know if there's a reason to, because all well, you have to refight the dungeon boss in order to do anything, but let's see what it says about the new game plus mode. 
if it says anything. It does not say anything, so let's just look that up real quick before I do anything. Uh, if it's released with the adventure update, only available after complete the game. Prices and cost of items are increased in this game mode, and you also have access to special pirate weapons and amulets that are only available in New Game Plus. Uh, special selling items can be about 1 coin less for than 5.6 times their regular price, so an object selling for 1,000 normally will sell for 5,599 in New Game Plus. So, neat. Maybe I'll do a run of that in the future, who knows. Anyways, thank you for tuning in for what turned out to be the end of uh, Moonlighter, the, fi the finale of the, our run. There might be more of the, uh, Moonlighter in the future, but for now, uh, one second, let's exit that so I can look at, um, I could consider showing, uh, saying what I'm going to play next, uh, next Monday. I've got a few games lined up. Obviously, tomorrow night is a continuation of uh, Tuesday chill streams of Outer Wilds. I have to get up early the next day, so it might be a bit shorter stream, but that would be still be more than an hour and a half. So we'll see. I might start a bit early. I don't know. It's still I'm done. I'm really the schedule beast. That's uncertain. I've got a few games lined up. A few, quite a few games in my backlog. A few games I've played for. So we'll see what takes the place. I've got a pretty good idea of what'll take the place of the Monday streams. You have to wait till next week. Unless uh, I've got a game I've decided on. Or, I, like I said, it could become Minecraft Mondays or something. Or a, some, a, an MMO or something will take the place. We'll see. I'm just considering that idea. Adding something like that into a the continu more continuous loop rather than constantly playing through three different games each week. I'm enjoying it, but I don't know if, uh, viewer, if viewers would enjoy adding something else more spin into it. So to, uh, that's the end of Moonlighters. So tune in next Monday at 8 Pacific Standard Time for what follows tune in tomorrow night at 9 30 6 standard time tuesday for outer wilds continuation of that i don't know i don't know how close we're at the end of that i think we're good to getting pretty close we'll see and tune in wednesday at 8 so standard time for the continuation of balan wonder uh, wonder world we're getting i think we're getting close to end game of that i'm also kind of playing that mostly blind a nice commenter uh on you on the youtube channel or on youtube where i post all the streams um, uh, told me how to get the hidden uh, Balan costume. Uh, that seems to be uh, to do with the Tims, so I don't know if we'll be getting it tomorrow, I mean on Wednesday night. I'll be working towards getting it, so we'll see. I don't know how much backtracking there will be this week. It's probably going to be next week when we do a lot of the backtracking. I'm going to complete the rest of the world's first, um, like the boss playthroughs to un unlock as many of the remaining suits as I can before I do that. So anyways, thank you again for tuning in. I hope you had a good time and enjoyed this full this playthrough of Moonlighter. I hope I see you all again next time and you have a good morning, evening, or night. Goodbye.